Okay, thank you so much for watching this homework video tutorial. Uh, it's on improper fractions and mixed numbers, which I know can be very, very challenging. Hopefully you've taken a lot of notes in your math notebook that can help you, but this video hopefully will help you as well. Stay tuned for the whole video. There, there will be a mystery question to see who actually watched the video. Okay, it's almost trick-or-treat time. Thursday is Halloween. And obviously, with Halloween comes candy. Let's pretend um, you get a lot of candy, you eat a lot of it, and this is what you have left over. You have four candy bars left over. Three of them are complete, whole, you haven't touched them. The fourth candy bar, you've eaten most of it. You only have one out of four left, uh, one fourth of it left. Let's pretend that this candy bar that I'm talking these candy bars that I'm talking about are broken into four little pieces. This is one whole, another whole, a third whole. This Fourth candy bar, you've eaten three-fourths of it. You have one-fourth of that fourth candy bar left over. So clearly you could say, as a mixed number, and a mixed number, again, is a whole number and a fraction. You have three and one-fourth candy bars left over. That's how you write it as a mixed number. You could also write that same exact amount, but as an improper fraction. And an improper fraction is a fraction whose numerator, numerator north, denominator down, whose numerator is greater than its denominator. You know, these candy bars are broken into fourths. And altogether, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 8, 12, 13 fourths of your candy bars that, that, are, that are left. So we can say 13 fourths is equal or equivalent to 3 and 1 fourths. OK? All right. Let me show you. Uh, let's start with the mixed number. How do we make a mixed number? How do we convert it into an improper fraction? Here's what you do. To turn a mixed number into an improper fraction, you multiply your denominator and your denominator is what? Four, that's right. The denominator times your whole number. What's the whole number here? Right, that's three. So we'd say denominator times the whole number. Okay. Second step is you add your numerator. Of course, the numerator is what? Here it's one. Numerator north, denominator down. So we'd say 12 plus the numerator one equals 13. Your denominator stays the same. So we have 13 fourths. Again, you multiply your denominator times the whole number. Here we get 12. We add our numerator. Here we get 13. That becomes our new numerator. our new numerator, and the denominator stays the same. So 3 and 1 fourth is equivalent to 13 fourths. That's fairly uh, doable. Fairly, fairly, I think it's, it's fairly easy. Um, you just have to remember your steps. Hopefully these steps are in your notebook. Where it can be a little, maybe a little tricky is going from an improper fraction, where the numerator is bigger than the denominator, to a mixed number. Also, there are some steps. First step is we say, Numerator divided by denominator. You divide your numerator divided by denominator. So numerator divided by denominator. That's the first step. Divide your numerator by the next step. Wait, divide your Step one, divide numerator by denominator. That's the first step. So, so 13 divided by 4. 4. 4 goes into 13 how many times? Well, I know my 4 is 4, 8, 12, 16. So 4 would, would, would be too much because 4 times 4 is 16. 
4 times 3 is 12. So 12 goes into 13 three times. That's your whole number. That becomes your new whole number. Your quotient becomes your, becomes your whole number of your mixed number. Then you multiply. 3 times 4 is 12. Subtract. This is the remainder, right? Second step is your remainder becomes your new numerator. Here, our remainder is 1. Denominator stays the same. Our denominator stays the same. Our denominator was 4, so it remains 4. 13 fourths is equivalent to 3 and 1 fourth. 13 fourths is the improper fraction, 3 and 1 fourths is the mixed. Hopefully this video helps you. Rewind it if you need to see this again. And mystery question time. What field trip are we going on tomorrow? What field trip are we going on tomorrow? Private message me privately. Do not message it to everyone else on Edmodo. That will let me know that you saw this video. Private message me on Edmodo. What is the name of the field trip that we are going on tomorrow? Okay, hope this is helpful and I'll see you tomorrow.